Ethan. Yeah, this doubles tournament got all sorts of weird right away. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. A couple people dropped. A couple people assuming they had doubles partners when they really didn't. Yeah, especially the day after a big event like yesterday too. A lot of a lot of people like ended up sleeping in. All right, we got Rhino and Rage Balls and Ludi and Ducks. Okay, so game one, Starville, as usual. We yeah. all know how this works. But uh, Ness and DDD against Cloud and Greninja. So many people playing Cloud in doubles now. He's so good in doubles. Yeah. And Ducks is one of those players that he likes to uh, he likes to try out a lot of different characters. Mm -hmm. Try to find out what works. Uh, he's usually a Fox main, but yep. he's got some other characters up his sleeves. Yeah, for sure. And Cloud, like we were saying before, definitely a good character to have in doubles as well. Like, Genesis definitely showed that. There oh, were, yeah. like, three Clouds in Grand Finals, I think, something like that. All those setups you can do yeah. into uh, Limit Break kills, it's yeah, ridiculous. They're kind of, yeah, like you said, ridiculous. And but. Cloud has time to just run away and sit back and charge his limit while your teammate yeah, keeps exactly. him off. And Greninja's just, like, he's, a, he's an aggressive... He has an aggressive move set, I guess I want to say. Right. So like, it's He's really very quick. E yeah. So it's really easy for him to cover Cloud from all angles of the stage while he charges up the limit. Yeah. Break. Another thing about Cloud too is his up air stays out for like 16 years. Oh so, yeah. And it's strong at all points. So just another one of those things about Cloud that make him really good on doubles. But as of right now, it's. Pretty much in blue team's favor at this point. Uh, both GDD and Cloud at roughly kill percent. Um, Even stocks. But Ness at kill percent himself, so it's going to take a little bit for the red team to come back. Back throw is a good start, but he's also, like we said, at kill percent as well. Now Ness is opting to do uh, back throws at super low percents here. Yeah, that was more or less to just get him off the stage, I think. Uh, against Cloud, a lot of people like are theorycrafting how to beat Cloud now, and a lot of what people are saying is once you get him off stage, he can't sweet spot his up B, so it's... So people are saying it should be easy to gimp him from there. Right. So I think it was just to get stage control, really, and just uh, see if he could try to gimp Cloud from that point. It didn't quite work out for him, but... Decent idea, I guess. But he does have limit online right now. Gets the down B on DDD there, taking his stock and still in blue team's favor, yeah. man. Yeah, just Not lining up at all. They're creating more and more of a gap as this game goes on. Rhino having a lot of trouble just getting his feet on the ground to be like for the most part. He is getting the grabs at low percent. But he isn't really getting a whole lot off of the grabs. Charging a four right. smash there doesn't Ooh, do anything. Ninja back throw almost killing. Right, that's a smash bill for you. But fortunately for him, didn't quite kill him. We and got the Ludi special, oh killing God. him at 65. That King was DDD. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Oh, back throw from Rhino there. We'll take one stock at least. Can he get another one? Yeah, I was looking for a falling up air there, but didn't quite get it. Ludi's waiting for the back throw. Was gonna try, looked like he was going to try to back throw on a limit break, but Ducks did have used the, uh, the limit to recover onto the stage. Ooh, oh, that, that was, was really good awareness. Yeah. Seeing that Ducks was way up there already, ready for it. Yeah, might as well, right? And that was like we were saying before, Cloud's up air is really good. Strong in most parts of it, I believe. There's a couple parts where it's like a little bit weaker, but it's all pretty much the same. But uh, um, what do you think Red Team has to do after a game like that? Do you think that I, they might? I don't know if I want to give Cloud more space to run around to charge that limit. Yeah, no, and you I definitely want to be on him. Yeah, so and I and I don't think Smash Bros was a really small stage either. So what do you like? Maybe Battlefield. Or I think Dream they're gonna Land? want some place with uh, with less platforms, especially uh, to deal with help deal with Greninja. Greninja loves those platforms because he mm -hmm. can extend his combos off them very very well. Okay, and we are going to see Town and City. Town and City, this is Greninja's best stage. Yeah, but at the same time, like we were saying before, this does give Cloud a little bit less room to run away. Uh, this is a bit smaller, a little bit smaller than Smashville. So, like we were, 
like I said, it does give Cloud a little bit less room to run away. He has, but he has every opportunity, though, to uh, jump on one of those platforms but look, and just charge it up there. Yeah, there's three platforms there you can just jump on and charge it. So. Eh, we'll see how it works. So far, uh, DDD at 80%, uh, Ness getting up there in percent as well, and Blue Team at mid percents already. So, pretty fast paced match so far. No stocks gone quite yet. Ducks does have his limit now. And, and side B, is. and that's going to be it for DDD. He almost actually lived that. That was actually yeah. a pretty good DI on his part. Gordo does hit Ness, but doesn't do enough to kill him. Oh, tries the Hydro Pump to get Ness off uh, off the stage a little bit more. And Blue Team once again with just superior stage control at this point. Yeah. Red Team seems to have a little bit of trouble keeping away from each other, I guess. Um, a, lot of, a lot of team attack between those two this game. A lot more than the first game, which is a little surprising, but... A little sad to see after a game like the first game, come back and you start hitting yeah. each other a little bit. You're trying to do a little bit too much, but ooh, oh, and Rhino I like that. I like that. Uh, what the DD doing there? He was reading his landings, mm -hmm. smacking them around. And Rhino SDing not quite gonna help. DD already at kill percent himself as well. Gets the dash attack though. That has, that has quite a bit of percent. Ludi gonna go up with the up air, doesn't connect though. If they can take Ludi's stock here, it's good. It'll yeah. Be, it'll be, yep. It'll help bring it back. Yeah, but they need to do that before Ness gets too much more percent on him. It exactly. Yeah. Back throw into up into force smash was a decent idea, but DDD does lose his stock there. Down throw from Ness, not gonna get anything off of it because Ludi is right there to back up ducks. Ooh. Oh my god. And blue team just complete control of this game. Not a whole lot red team could have done in my opinion. Getting the limit. One jab. <laughs> there it is. GG's. Nope. Oh, okay. Screwed it up a little bit. <laughs> spaghetti. Yeah. That is what we like to call mom spaghetti. But DDD grabbing the ledge twice. Not quite what you want to do in this game. Oh, but gets the kill on Ludi with a random up B. All right, you got it. What? what? Okay. All They're right. going for a little too much here. <laughs> I don't know. I All mean, right. they, they got stocks to throw away at this point, but, yeah. like. Oh. That is ugly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to think about that. That was, uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. All right, I don't know what.